Tallahassee police officers are on administrative leave as of right now. The department is investigating a deadly shooting. The situation played out late Thursday night here at Tom Brown Park. Now on ABC 27 News at 6, we know one woman is dead after TPD says she shot at officers and they shot back. I've never seen anything like it. This investigation turned an otherwise peaceful park into a dangerous place. I'm Ava Van Valen. And I'm Channing Frampton. Multiple people reported hearing those gunshots overnight. TPD says this all started with a drug trafficking investigation around 830 Thursday night here on Appalachie Parkway. After a suspect got away from police, about two hours later, they ended up in Tom Brown Park. That's where we find ABC 27's Kendall Branch. She's been working to piece together what happened in the hours since. And Kendall, how are people living near the park feeling tonight? Well, Channing and Ava, they're shaken up to say the least. And Jacob O'Donnell was here last night at Tom Brown Park when those gunshots rang out. And he says that it, the whole situation just felt unreal. Still in that moment, like you're kind of just sitting there looking and you're just like, it takes maybe two or three seconds to calibrate like, oh, this is happening. It's not fireworks. It's not, you know, a loud truck or anything. Like, this is actually happening. That is how Jacob O'Donnell felt when he saw a shootout involving police after his softball game here at Tom Brown Park. That shooting, according to the Tallahassee Police Department, resulted in the death of Asia Fitzgerald. It had to have been 30 seconds of gunfire, had to be 100 plus rounds <laughs> that got shot off. Um, and then the fire kind of ceased. And you heard, obviously, officers just screaming, yelling. Tallahassee Police Department Deputy Chief Jason Larson says it all began with the traffic stop of Darrell Lee on Appalachie Parkway near Executive Center Drive. Lee then fled the scene and ended up here at Tom Brown Park, where police found him at around 1030 with two other people. One of those people, Asia Fitzgerald, who police say shot at officers and was shot and killed as a result by law enforcement. Something Deputy Chief Jason Larson says was a life or death moment for officers. Uh, from what I've seen on the body cam footage, uh, it was uh, very harrowing for the officers. They were uh, in fear, uh, definitely, and uh, it was a very scary situation for them. While he knew they were probably safe at a distance, O'Donnell says his first response was to protect his wife. What did you do when you saw everything happen? We're all kind of sitting here in this parking lot, and I kind of push my wife, I grab my, my friend's wife's arm, I kind of push them behind my F-150, and I said, it, you know, now's the time to kind of just get some cover. I mean, we're, we're far away, maybe three, 400 yards. And O'Donnell says the police response after that shooting was almost as shocking as the shots themselves. The immediate, I mean, immediate response. I didn't realize we had that many officers on standby at any given moment. I mean, to think that that situation was handled, that guy was in custody, and then within 30 seconds to a minute, we had 20 plus, 30 plus, and it was like 40, 50 plus officers running around this park. That must have been difficult to see. Kendall, will the Citizens Police Review Board be looking into this incident? Well, Channing, I checked in with a board member today, and he says that there are not enough members on the board for them to even meet right now. But he did say that the board will be discussing incidents from the beginning of the year until now when that police board member is placed in their position. Live in Tallahassee, Kendall Brandt, ABC 27.